Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Michelle Tonkin. I'm a local author from Charlotte, North Carolina, and the creator of the Simon the Seahorse series. And today we're going to be reading Simon the Seahorse and the Lost City. All right, are you ready to read me, Jazzy? Yes, you are. What a sweet little baby you are. Okay. Simon the Seahorse was reading one day about the ancient underwater city of Cleopatra far away. He was so excited to show his mom and dad, but they seemed distracted and that made Simon sad. Not willing to let it go, Simon persisted. Hey dad, this looks really neat. Can we go here sometime please? That would be really sweet. Simon's dad glanced aside. I'll look at it later, son. Right now, I don't have time. When you get back home, Dad? His dad nodded. That would be fine. With magazine in hand and his pack on his back, Simon headed off to school, complete with lunch and his afternoon snack. All he could think of was a beautiful ancient city, daydreaming of statues and a palace so pretty. He tried to wait patiently as the clock ticked away. Time to go home now, his teacher announced. Class is done for the day. Simon couldn't wait to hang out later with his friends Sandy the Stingray and Cory the Crab. I've got something special to show you. Really, Cory asked. Yes, Simon nodded. I think you'll be glad. Sitting at the table making plans in the kitchen, Simon's mom brought them cookies as they discussed their new expedition. Just then, Simon's dad grabbed a cookie. Hey, Dad, you're home. Read this. What do you think? Wouldn't it be great to visit this place? Simon asked with a wink. His dad smiled big, whispering something in Mom's ear. Simon tried hard to listen, unable to hear. The next morning, Simon woke up to a big surprise. It's on the kitchen table were tickets. Back passports, backpacks, and supplies. What's this for? Where are we going? Simon asked with big wide eyes. We're going to Cleopatra's lost city. His dad grinned in reply. Yay! Simon screamed while doing his happy dance. When do we leave? Can we go today? Is there any chance? Yes, we'll leave it today as soon as we can. Simon's mom smiled. Not everyone gets your things quick. We'll be leaving in just a short while. A few days later, the family arrived, checking to Hotel Cleo's close to the site. They were excited but exhausted from the journey and happy to spend the night. The next day, they met their tour guide, Lyle the Lion Fish. He showed them the ancient statues, the foundation of Cleopatra's palace, and many sunken ships. While exploring the ruins, they came across an engraving on an ancient Egyptian block. The lionfish knows Simon examining it and explained that it was indeed Pharaoh Seti I's rock. By this thing, Simon knows something shiny on the ocean floor. He wiggled his fin over it, revealing a small silver coin like nothing he'd ever seen before. Mom, Dad, everyone, come look and see, Simon exclaimed. Look what I found. So everyone dropped what they were doing and gathered around. Now the guy carefully examined the coin and explained what he thought it could be. This looks like a Roman coin from Cleopatra's time. Yes, Simon's father nodded. I would agree. I can't believe I've never seen this before. Look, it's Mark Anthony's face. It's been here a very long time on this ocean floor. What should we do with it? Simon asked with big, excited eyes. The museum may want this on display, Lau answered, holding his prize. A few days later, the museum invited Simon and his family to see the coin in its new glass home. They marveled at the other discoveries that had been made and the beautiful silver coin now encased in a dome. With the family expedition coming to a close, Simon's dad asked him, what did you like the most? Simon was quick to reply, 
Exploring the ruins and finding that silver coin was great fun. But what I liked the most was spending time with all of you, everyone. For Simon had discovered that life's adventures are enjoyed the most when shared with those that one holds close. The end. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Be sure to check out our website, www.simontheseahorse, for updates and the purchase books from the Simon the Seahorse series. And thank you so much, Jazzy, for reading with me today. You are such a sweetheart. And thank you for the Humane Society of Charlotte uh, for having me on today. It was a pleasure and a blessing. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.